Hello and welcome to Fund of Mechanical Engineering on YouTube. This is Deepak Sarma here and today I am going to tell you about the air conditioning system. All air complete air conditioning system. A air conditioning system that you can use throughout the year. Even in winter as well as in monsoon and summer as well. Right. So quite wasting time. Let me start by describing each and, each, each and every component of complete air conditioning system so let's start with it suppose this is our air conditioning space AC space where we have to use air conditioning air conditioning right so I am starting from here I am starting from here this is our pre filter this is our pre filter let me start from the component this is our pre filter this is our fine filter This is our cooling co heater. This is our cooling coil. This is humidistat. Humidistat. This is humidifier. Humi sorry, humidifier. Okay, and this is blower blower which kind of blower is this it depends on the air pressure static pressure required in the duct air conditioning duct or air conditioning space okay this is blower this may be forward curve blade or this is where this may be backward curve blade when we require high static pressure when static pressure is very high then we require for a backward curve when static pressure is low static pressure is low then we required forward curve okay and this is centrifugal blower centrifugal centrifugal blower blower okay so now let me describe the process that actually happens in air conditioning space first consider that at at this point a return duct, a return air, return air from the air conditioning space is coming. Suppose 100% return is going throughout this, not 100%, say 90%, because 10%, say 90% air is return air. This is return air. 90% air is returning from the air conditioning space through this route. And out of 90%, say 15% is exhausted. Okay, 15% is exhausted. Then, how much is come back return to this root? That is 75%. That means 75% return air is coming to this root. And this 75% air is mixed with a rest 25% fresh air. Fresh air. That means this is this gives this filter gives fresh air. This is gives return air. Here return air and fresh air mixed at this point and this will pass through this fine filter. Right. The inner leaf free filter is of 10 micron. Fine filter is of 5 micron. Okay. And cooling coil depends on the cooling capacity and cooling load. It may be 4 row coiled or 6 row coiled. Sometimes even it use 8 row coiled. But generally we used 4 row or 6 row coiled. Okay. <coughs> sorry so this is our um, the what happens fresh and return air return air met, uh, meet at this point and this air mixed air pass through this fine filter where it is filtrated through this filter by 5 micro rating and thereafter this air goes to this heater okay heater where uh, temperature of the air may increase or become increase or decrease depending on whether heater is on or off on okay temperature cannot be decreased by heater the temperature of the air is reduced by the cooling coil where we give chilled water cooling line okay chilled water inlet and chilled water outlet this chilled water line coming from the chiller from chiller okay this uh, say around coming it's coming around say 8 degree centigrade and return back to say 12 degree centigrade 
okay so this match uh, delta t generated is equal to 4 degree centigrade okay this happens so after cooling coil this air passes through the humidistat humidistat actually what these do they control the humi humidity of the air okay and here we have the humidifier humidifier which increases the amount of water amount of water per kg of air which increases the amount of water per kg air is the humidifier okay and thereafter this air is sucked into the blower blower is generally type of did w did w means double inlet double outlet double width double inlet double width there where the air is sucks from the both side and coming with the two or two outlet that is called did or cis did and what is cis w cis w means single inlet single single width there is where we have, where it have only one suction is uh, suction provision and it uh, outlet uh, provision is also one that is called cis sisw and dw that is that kind of blower is used here so suppose if you if we, we are using this type of air conditioning in summer can summer condition then what we have to off we have to shut off this heater this humidifier okay blower will be on humidistat will be on and the cooling coil will be on uh, filter pre filter and file filter will be available and it work for all time right and if we use this in winter condition then this cooling coil will be off and heater will be on and humidifier will be on okay so this is all about uh, air conditioning all air air conditioning system and uh, what uh, kind of fan will be selected for this all air air conditioning system it depends on the air conditioning space whether we are putting here hepa filter or simply normal air conditioning system okay so it depends on us if we put suppose if we put hepa filter here hepa filter then hepa filter rating have 0.3 micron filter filter rating has 0.3 micron and 0.99% percent 99.9% efficiency okay then we will required high amount uh, high static pressure blower that's mean the uh, curve, um, blower will be selected backward curve and the static pressure will be around uh say above above 100 mm of water gauge above 100 mm of water gauge right so this is all about central air conditioning system i also like to add some points like uh, what kind of things should be added in ahu see these things blower pre filter this all red line indicated is all added in ahu ahu that is called air handling unit and the water we supply chilled water that we supply into the cooling coil is supplied from the chiller right and this is from the air shower humidifier air washer air uh, sorry water vapor uh, water uh, small tiny particles is uh, supplied from the air air shower okay air shower and uh, blower is run through the motor electric motor so this is all about central air, air conditioning plant that way that we can use throughout the year if you like this video then please do not forget to subscribe my channel which is panda of mechanical engineering on youtube one thing i also like to add that uh, in my next video i am going to tell you very important conversion factor com conversion point that that is generally used in mechanical engineering industry and that you must know if you are engineer then you will have to know that conversions that like conversion of pressure conversion of uh, temperature conversion of area conversion of flow rate conversion of energy to uh, conversion of mechanical energy to electrical energy so this type of conversion say if you are you have to convert pressure is atmospheric pressure to kg per centimeter square or pascal or psig or uh, say millimeter of water gauge millimeter of mercury so in my next video i am going to tell you about that conversion till then thank you and please do not forget to subscribe my channel which is panda of mechanical engineer on youtube thank you jai hind